You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Children got a first-hand look at many of the work vehicles that we see daily in the community. And we sent reporter Charles Maurer to Drake Sports Park for this very special occasion. Trucks. They're big. They're loud. But what makes them so cool? Let's find out. annual touch a truck event out at Drake Sports Park and we have a ton of uh, businesses and some of our um, friends from police and fire out here today just giving kids the chance to get inside and explore all those really big vehicles that they look at and think are so cool but don't normally get to get inside of. Today's going great uh, with the weather it was kind of unexpected uh, you know it's cold I was talking about having a bit of a runny nose but it was it's cold and it's just this crowd it, they just really seem to be happy and energized and it just kind of you forget about the cold and the clouds and everything else that we've had so it's, it's, it's nice to have everybody together. Uh, my favorite part is interacting with all the other West Bloomfield residents and have an opportunity for my daughter and my son to see the different trucks different sizes. Harper, what's, oh, yeah. your, what's your favorite truck? The police one. She likes the police vehicles. We anticipate two to 3,000 people in the park today, so it's, uh, it's definitely one of our more popular events, and people seem to really love it. So There's a lot more than what meets the eye when it comes to giant trucks. There's a lot to learn, to see, and play when you're a child looking at these large vehicles. Families enjoy a wonderful day with food trucks, fire trucks, and tractors. Not only were the kids having a wonderful time, but the parents were having fun too. Something about large trucks brings out the best in all of us. Well, I think it helps them learn about um, maybe different careers they could do one day or uh, maybe just the importance of you know, respecting uh, uh, our public safety and all of these big construction vehicles because um, they are really cool, but we, safety is a really big thing. So a lot of the uh, businesses here are teaching about safety and different things as the kids are going through. For us, it's to kind of get the idea with the kids, you know, especially with the smokehouse here, the, to get them to be cognizant of how, what to, how to act like in smoke, not to panic, to know that you get low and go, um, also to kind of pass along to parents that smoke alarms are very important, how quickly a room can fill up with smoke. Um, it also helps us pass on messages that we're here to help people, you know, with our truck and our ambulances and everything else. Yeah, so this is really our kickoff for summer. We have so many summer events for the family, um, so we're just really excited this is our first one. We want to bring as many people to the park as we can and just create those memories for families. Just watching the excitement of the kids, it's, it kind of brings it back for even the adults. When you see, I've had several adults looking at the trucks and hearing them talk about the trucks, it just kind of brings the kid out and all of us, brings the community together, makes it a lot of fun for everybody. My favorite part is all the smiling faces, and especially with the kids, that's the favorite. Touch a truck ended up being a wonderful evening, as you can hear from the sirens behind me. It was a beautiful day outside, filled with families and friends gathered around large vehicles, honking the horns, playing with the sirens, meeting the canine dog of the police unit, and getting to know a little bit about fire safety. Overall, today was a success, and I'd like to say that trucks are cool. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Charles Maurer. And you can find more information on our website at civiccentertv.com slash touchatruck2019. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.